Welcome back to Alam PowerPoint channel. In this video, I'll show you how to create this curved carousel with background and moving effect in PowerPoint. This is straight to the point tutorial. I'll show you how to do it as simple as possible. After you watch this video, I believe you can create it in less than 5 minutes probably even faster. All right, first of all, right click, select format background, and then change the color to gray. This is just a temporary background color so that if we put any object over it, whether it's too bright or too dark, we can still see it. Go to insert, shapes, click on circles, and then draw one at the top like this. Duplicate it, and then put another one at the bottom. In this case, I right click, then add two horizontal lines, and place them on the border of the slide. Then I insert another two vertical lines, and then put it on another other borders. Once you're ready, go to insert, picture, and then select all of the images you want. Spread them out for a moment and then place all of your images in a horizontal order like this. Select and block all of the images and then in picture format, send it backwards. Here I'm focused on the first image. So go to insert and then add some new text boxes. In this case, for tutorial purpose, I've repaired my text in my clipboard to save your time. Now go to insert, shapes, and then draw a rounded rectangle at the bottom of the slide. Change the outline color to black black and then add some weight. Change the shape fill to gray and then type the less than symbol. I make this object because, you know, it's easiest to make and it still indicates the previous button. If you have another icon, just go for it guys. Now duplicate the icon and then rename the symbol to the greater than symbol like this. Click on the first object, insert an action, and then add a hyperlink to previous slide. Now once again, click on the second object, insert an action, and then add a hyperlink to the next slide. Alright. Now select and block the two shapes at the top and the bottom, right click, format object, and in the fill option, click on slide background fill. Then get rid of the outline. Right click on the picture, copy it, then right click on the background to open format background. Click Click on picture or texture fill, then choose clipboard. After that, reduce the sharpness to minus 100%. Here, I also set the brightness to minus 25%. Alright, now change the text color to white. Let's zoom out and duplicate the first slide. On slide 2, delete the text boxes and then select all of the images like this, then drag the second image to the center of the slide. Duplicate slide 2. On slide 3, select and block all of the images again and then drag it so the third image can be located on the center of the slide. Once you're done, duplicate slide 3. On slide 4, we also do the same principle. Select and block the images, then drag it like this. And make sure to place the fourth image in the center of the slide. Duplicate the slide again, and on slide 5, just do the same thing like before. And for the last slide, you know what to do, right? Still same easy principle. Just like that. Alright, now go to slide 5, copy the first image, and then paste it to the right like this. Once you're done, copy it, go to slide 6, paste it, and then carefully drag it to beside the picture on the center. If you see it cover this part, you can send it backward in picture format like this. Alright, this picture works as decoration, so if you check it out in preview mode later, the slide will look like it's loop. Now, go to slide 2, copy the last image in the order, and then put it on the left like this. Copy the newer image, and then go to slide 1, and paste it. Drag it beside the picture on the center. Send it backward. Alright, we're almost done guys. The next step is gonna be piece of cake. Go to slide 2, zoom in, insert text boxes, and then type your text. Click on the image, copy it, and then right click on the background, select format background. Click on clipboard in the fill option, and then reduce the sharpness to minus 100%, then set the brightness to minus 25%. Easy right? Now, let me repeat the same process on slide 3. Copy the image to your clipboard and then go to format background. Click clipboard in the fill option. Reduce the sharpness to minus 100% and then set the brightness to minus 25%. Now, go to slide 4. Use the exact same principle. Insert some text boxes. Copy the image. Go to format background. Click on clipboard. And then reduce the sharpness to minus 100% and the brightness to minus 25%. Repeat the same process again. Slide 5. Insert some text boxes, copy the image again, go to format background, click on clipboard. Reduce the image sharpness to minus 100% and the brightness as well 
to 25%. And now for the last slide, do the exact same principle again. I think you guys know what to do. All right, now select and block every slide, go to transition tab and activate move transition. Go to effect options and then choose words. By the way here, you can change the duration to whatever you like. All right, now in preview mode, this is what your slides will look like. You can always use this principle for another presentation. By the way, if you want to learn how to create another slider effect, just go and click link on the end screen. Subscribe if you don't want to miss another straight to the point tutorial. Thanks for watching.